One of the things that I commonly do on the desktop is to work with Excel files. So I wanted to try out the different ways to work on Excel files in Raspberry Pi. And I thought I'd share with you some of my thoughts on these. So the first one I tried is LibreOffice Calc. This comes as a default if you've downloaded and used the full installation of Raspberry Pi OS. It installs the LibreOffice suite for you. And LibreOffice is this uh, free open source software package designed as an alternative for Microsoft Office. It includes tools working with documents, spreadsheets, slideshows, uh, and the sorts of things that you do in an Office environment. So Calc is the included tool for working with spreadsheets. So a few of the features it has is that you can open up uh, Excel files. So the XLS and S XLSX files can be opened with LibreOffice Calc. It can do graphs and charts and tables and filtering and those sorts of things. Uh, and it can do the basics of pivot tables as well, but didn't quite have as advanced features as uh, Microsoft Office. I also found LibreOffice performed quite well on the Raspberry Pi. The interface was responsive, menus were relatively easy to navigate. It was good for basic data analysis, such as filtering and graphing. Uh, though I did find that uh, if you are into doing data analysis on the Raspberry Pi, there are alternatives, which I'll talk about later in this video. But some of the disadvantages of LibreOffice Calc, especially compared to a full Microsoft Excel on a desktop, it has a slightly different formula syntax. Formulas written in LibreOffice Calc might not work if it's put into Excel. I also found that there was no way to add comments to a cell. Sometimes I like to add comments to Excel cells to explain what's going on in the cell, but there was no option to do that in LibreOffice Calc. Uh, no macro support as well, and there were no pivot charts. So even though it can do basic pivot tables, there was no way to do a pivot chart inside that. The second way that I tried to open Excel files on a Raspberry Pi was to use Microsoft Zone 365. So from the Chromium web browser, Microsoft 365 can be accessed on the Raspberry Pi. It's not a free solution unlike LibreOffice and it does have some limited features compared to the full desktop Excel experience. But Excel 365 could be a, uh, a stopgap solution to opening Excel files on the Raspberry Pi because it does support XLS and XLSX files, it supports graphs and charts and pivot tables and all those sorts of things. Uh, but it is missing some features. Graphs and charts, while they are supported, some of the advanced features on them are not, particularly about uh, formatting things. So I felt the user interface wasn't really responsive either because it's not all not really optimized to run on such a small device. Microsoft 365 uh, wasn't really great inside Chromium on the Raspberry Pi. So I felt it wasn't really optimized to run on the Raspberry Pi, probably because it's a lot of very intensive JavaScript running through the Chromium JavaScript engine on the Raspberry Pi. It's much more abstracted away from the hardware than say LibreOffice Calc. The third way I tried to use Excel files on the Pi was by using Python. Python has an open Pi XL Pi is in Python, open PyXL library that can open XLS and XLSX files and then read the data that's in there and write it back out. It works best with XLSX files. It's a bit easier to read as a third party. It's a text-based format. If you've used pandas in Python before, then you're probably already familiar with its ability to open Excel files and then uh, to extract the data from there to make graphs and charts and those things in Python rather than in Excel. And if you're doing any data analysis on the Raspberry Pi, or you're like me in looking at ways to replace your desktop with Raspberry Pi and you do data analysis on your desktop, then having that full access to Python on the Pi would let you open Excel files. Open PyXL can uh, be used to manipulate Excel files, put graphs together, and if you're interested in how to install it, it can be installed by pip. Simply open up the terminal and type in sudo pip install open PyXL, then it works in Python. And then you can use Python to edit your Excel files. The fourth tool I tried to work with Excel files on Raspberry Pi was Google Sheets. Google Sheets is Google's online spreadsheet tool. It can be accessed from anywhere with a decent inter internet connection and modern web browser, which the Raspberry Pi has thanks to Chromium. But in Google Sheets is free as well. So you don't have to pay unlike the online Microsoft solution. Raspberry Pi can access Google Sheets using Chromium uh, or an alternative browser such as Firefox. And the full functionality of Google Sheets is available, including the ability to upload files from the Raspberry Pi and then download those files back to the Raspberry Pi after they've been edited. Found Google Sheets performed quite well uh, Excel tasks like reading and opening files, writing to files, doing graphs and charts and pivot tables. But I found that it was a bit lacking in terms of the uh, user interface performance. Clicking on things was a bit slow. It, was, it didn't feel as snappy as having a desktop application like the LibreOffice 
office calc. It was something that was uh, a bit slow to use by the Chromium browser, probably suffering from the same problem that Microsoft 365 Excel had, where it's a lot of Java, heavy JavaScript trying to run on the Little Pi processor. Overall, it wasn't too bad for simple edits and for simple work. There's one last tool that I heard of as working well with Excel files on Raspberry Pi, and that was Gnumeric. So Gnumeric is a free open source spreadsheet and calculation tool intended to provide a basic alternative to Excel. I found it to be more basic than LibreOffice Calc. It, it didn't, despite being in the same open source vein, it just didn't feel like it had as many features for me. So, so some of the main features missing compared to the other options were that it doesn't have pivot tables. And I think that's where LibreOffice Calc wins out here. Uh, it didn't have any way to save formatting information about the cells in the Excel file. I don't think it worked well with Excel's formatting. So those are the ways that I tried to put Excel on my Raspberry Pi. Hit subscribe if you wanna find more uses for your Raspberry Pi.